For the record, when using a router, routers create really fine dust. This fine dust is really toxic. Uh, for the purpose of the videos, it wasn't that necessary because in my shop I have a dust collection that purifies the air. However, because I'm doing so many of these, I am wearing hearing protection and a mask. The only time I wasn't was doing the video. This is important for keeping me safe and you safe. Uh, wood particles from a router are very small and can create little balls in the bottom of your lung. All right, have a good one. Hello, Surf the Nations. Uh, we're in my living room where apparently the, the table is gone, so this is where I'm assembling some surfboard parts. Uh, today I want to talk to you about doing the router work. Um, the router is the only tool I'm really not letting y'all use um, because it's not that safe. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of what it is and what it did. Um, so I'm taking our molds, right, and I'm putting them, I'm screwing them down to the pieces of wood. Then I'm running them through a router. And a router cuts out everything beyond the mold. So that way you end up with 10 parts that are exactly the same in every way, shape, and form. So we're going to head out to the garage and look at the router. This is my router table. You can tell by all the dust on it. That is the Milwaukee three and a half horsepower router. Uh, it raises and lowers off the table. Um, this is the bit right here. Um, let me talk to you about this bit as I hand my wife the iPad. So, what we're doing, I'm going to bolt this down, okay, onto this piece of wood. I have to lower, I have to lower the router bit to where these bearings are going to catch just this. To do that, I'm going to first unplug the machine so that way I don't get hurt. Safety. Now I'm going to lower this down. I'm going to pull a little switch on the router that loosens it. I'm going to spin this down all the way, just like that. I'm going to lock this back in place. That's locked in. Now I'm going to screw the piece down. On the first one, when you're cutting the mold, the bit, um, the wheels that this piece go around leave a little edge. So you actually have to unscrew, flip it around, and run it again. Then I'm going to use this piece instead of the thin piece to do the rest. Um, so that way it's a little safer. 